This is part 5 of .NET Return Test Questions and Answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss writing a program in C Sharp to check if the user input is a string or an integer. This is straightforward to achieve. If you have used the triparse function, then you already know the answer. One of our YouTube channel subscribers faced this question in a C Sharp Return Test. So let's flip to Visual Studio. And here I have a new console application. The first step here is to actually prompt the user to enter his input. So let's say, please type your input and press enter key at which point the user will start um, you know, entering his input and to receive the input we are going to have a variable of type string and let's call it str input and let's read the value um, that the user has entered using console.readLine method and notice that we are storing it in the string variable because readLine is going to return that input in a string format. So now what we are going to do is create another variable of type integer. Let's call it result and initialize that to zero. Okay. Now we are going to use try parse function. So what is this try parse function going to do? So basically notice that it has got two parameters. The first parameter is the string. So we are going to pass the string that we have read from the console that the user has entered. And then what this try parse function is going to do, as the name suggests, it's going to try to parse that value into an integer. Okay? And if it is successful, then it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. Okay? So the string that we want to convert to integer is stored in this variable. And look at this. This is an output parameter. So we have to use the out keyword and then specify the variable which is going to receive uh, the converted value. In this case, we want result to receive the converted value. Okay, so what is this function doing now? It's going to try to parse the value that is stored in this variable and then store it in this um, uh, variable that is result. So if the conversion is successful, the method will return true and this variable will contain that integer value. If the conversion is unsuccessful, then this method is going to return false. So what we can do here is use an if statement. If try parse is successful, if it has returned true, then all we do is console.write line, your input, whatever is the input, is a number. And where is the input present? That's stored in result variable. Else, so if try parse has returned false, then it comes to the else block, in which case we'll print a message saying your input is not a number. And the input is present in str input variable. All right, so let's go ahead and run this now. So first let's enter something like t and that's not a valid integer. So when we press enter it says your input 10 is not a number. On the other hand, let's run this and enter something like 999 which is a number. Your input 999 is a number. So it's that straightforward. All we need to know is uh, understand to use try parse function. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.